evening. Welcome. I trust that puppy here was accommodating. Hmm. He always is towards those who come with good intentions. No, not THE Puppy. His name is Puppy. A shadow hound of the underworld. Come here. Isn't he just the most adorable thing ever? <sighs> I adopted him because nobody else wanted to. Their loss. <laughs> Sit. Good. <laughs> I like the red eyes, shaggy fur, and long, sharp teeth that go all the way past his jaw. And the drool makes him so much more endearing, don't you think? Oh, that's all right. Different beings, different tastes. At least you didn't say yes just to please me. I, Adna, like that. Uh-huh. This isn't a place of judgment. I accept you wholly. <laughs> you are on a date with a Mind Flayer, after all. Tentacle power. <laughs> Do come in. Oh, you can keep your shoes on. That is entirely fine. I myself love my heels, though I have been told I am tall enough. How was your teleportation journey here? No hiccups with the instructions, I hope. <laughs> hmm. No need to rely on mundane technologies when magical business cards can do so much more. If magic were mainstream, the airline industry would go out of business. Yes, my business card is very handy. Always remember, draw three concentric circles clockwise on the card with a left index finger to teleport once I've opened the portal for you. And for mind-to-mind -mind communication, Three concentric circles, anti-clockwise, with the right index finger. All communication is protected. Why do you ask? I've only ever had one mishap with the teleports. <laughs> Oops, they didn't follow instructions. The top half of their body was here, and the bottom half was still at home. It was awkward. For them, that is. Found them clawing at the gates. Poor thing. Oh, no, no. They lived through it. We became good friends, actually, before their untimely demise. No, I had nothing to do with it. Road accident. Anyway, to other topics. This is the main living area of the mansion. The mansion used to belong to a lich. Oh, the dear old man got sick of so-called eternal life. Uh, we were close friends, too. 
He passed the property to me, then left. Forever. <laughs> Did you enjoy the thunder and lightning show outside? Bit theatrical, you think? Isn't it? I find it adds a certain frisson to the evening. Yes, I can make it go away. There you are. It's all artificial anyway. Just magic. This way. Ah. Electricity is available here, but I've opted for hundreds of white candles instead. I really want to give you the full spooky but romantic mansion experience. <laughs> I gave Cook the evening off. No, not the Cook. Cook. That's his name. He makes great food, but so do I. For our first real full-length date, I've prepared a three-course dinner for us. I do hope you've come hungry. Good, good. Ah, that would spoil the surprise, wouldn't it? You'll see what the food is very soon. And I think you will find the meal memorable. Follow me. Welcome to my dining platform. I had it built some years ago. I do love taking my meals on the raised platform in the middle of this pool. The waters below house many exotic animals. See? There's one there. They need to be fed a, a special diet. I find their forms rather fascinating. You won't find these in any ordinary rivers or seas. Uh, don't worry. The fish may have a few too many eyeballs for your taste, but they're harmless, mostly. Now please, take a seat. Allow me to hopefully impress you with my culinary prowess. Waiter! <sighs> Thank you. Are you ready for the entree, dear? I am delighted to hear. I call this the Eldritch Egg Tentacle Delight. Here we have soft-boiled quail eggs wrapped in crunchy potato tentacles. Yes, I wasn't sure if octopus suited your palate, so I opted for something akin to curly fries. Served with a drizzle of spicy ink black aioli. The quail eggs have a smoky flavor. <laughs> Eat!
<laughs> you do have a keen eye, don't you, dear? I have been feeling much better about myself lately. When we met at the speed date, I was still not over my ex. Hmm. Now I do feel rather restored and happier. One must admit, recovering from heartbreak is no simple task for a being such as myself. When the mind is as elaborate as mine, emotions and the thoughts feeding them tend to become intertwined with one's very essence. <laughs> you won't get fries like these from McDonald's. These potatoes were grown in one of my plant labs. <laughs> my dress? <laughs> Why, thank you, dear. You flatter me. It's rare to hear such compliments about my appearance. Most see a mind flayer and are intimidated at best. But you, you've been relaxed this whole evening. Of course, Adna can tell. I can hear your heart beating if I tune in. <laughs> Yes, if tentacles had ears. I have a keen sense for different sounds. That's all. Uh huh? Uh huh. So you have encountered mind flares before? In your reading material and games. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I mind being a creature of fascination for you. You may ask me any questions, as strange or absurd as they may be. I'm sure you have questions about my kind, yes? <laughs> I'll let you think about them then. Look, you ate it all. <laughs> I'll call waiter. Not the waiter. Waiter is his... Uh, you get the idea. Waiter! Main course time. We have flesh and bone pie with a side of whispering vines. They're actually a root vegetable, kind of like a carrot, but they resemble tentacles. <laughs> Tentacle carrots, yes. They've been roasted to the point where they'll simply melt in your mouth. The pie itself is filled with slow-cooked shadow beast breast meat, peas, and herbal gravy. It's topped with flavorsome bone broth powder. <laughs> mm. The herbs should give it just the right balance of sharpness and depth. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear you think the food is fantastic. In my opinion, food isn't simply sustenance. It's an art. Well, 
executed dish is akin to a well-planned experiment. The variables, the method, the anticipation of the results. Though I tend to go overboard sometimes with the experiments, not the food. <sighs> I'm finding you to be quite the charming companion and quite the attractive date. <laughs> Do you cook a lot? Not your strong suit, then. That's fine. <laughs> Dear, that's what partners are for, aren't they? To compliment one another. Nobody is an expert in everything, but should you ever wish to learn, I'd be glad to guide your hands. In cooking, or otherwise. Hmm, yes. I spent a great deal of time perfecting that pastry. It's good, isn't it? All the layers so crunchy and delicate. Mm. Mm. I use a touch of ground mandrake root for that extra depth and make sure not to overwork the dough. Then I put it on some ice to chill before I bake it. <laughs> Look at you go. You're a fast eater, like me. Do you want dessert now, then, dear? Waiter! Yes, dessert is glowing. Just a bit of magic. Nothing that'll be detrimental to your health. This is the ectoplasm parfait. I must say, it is one of my more visually impressive creations. The glowing layer is lime custard. Beneath it, you'll find a dark, velvety, vanilla bean pudding. At the bottom is whipped mango and cream, and as for the top, crushed Oreos. I don't much like processed food, usually, but Oreos are just... Mm -hmm. irresistible. Enjoy! Yes? Ah, you've thought up some questions to ask me. Go ahead. I have noticed you trying not to stare too obviously at my mouth as I eat. <laughs> the tentacles are actually quite nimble. Here, have a touch. Right? They aren't just for show, they actually assist with the process. I can use them to taste, sense texture, and even feel magical properties of a dish. You know the human saying, I can feel it in my gut? The Mind Flayer equivalent is, I can feel it in my tentacles. <laughs> that, 
I mostly eat the same food as humans, though on occasion, I do have a preference for more adventurous flavors. How is the parfait? <laughs> I'm delighted you appreciate the balance of ingredients. Much like you and me, dear. Familiar, yet also wonderfully alien. You've already demonstrated that you can handle both with admirable ease. Tell me, what draws you to me, other than your fascination with mind flayers? If we do become romantically involved over the long term, what are your hopes and expectations and thoughts about what a relationship with me would be like? Ah, I see. That's very reasonable. I would say the same, honestly. <laughs> a mystery? How intriguing. I do enjoy being enigmatic to strangers, but I assure you I am an open book if you ask the right questions. I suppose you are also here because human partners have not provided you with the type of excitement or support or interest you desire. Mm-hmm. Then there is the matter of compatibility. How do you feel, dear, about telepathy? Some find the idea of another's mind intertwining with their own too invasive. Others find it thrilling. I wouldn't want to impose, but it's something I find quite essential. Ah, <laughs> you sound eager to experience more of it. That's very good. Hmm. Ah. Does your stomach feel satisfied? Wonderful. Seeing as we've finished our food, would you like to go on a little mind journey? Let's go back to the living area for that. Basically, I'll connect my mind with yours and show you the images I conjure up in my very vast mindscape. I'll keep it tame this time. <laughs> It's not good for people to suddenly see too many things they cannot make sense of. Some go crazy, you see. Hmm. Sit! <sighs> Would you believe these were once torture chairs? I simply adored the designs, so dramatic and beautiful. I have them reupholstered, of course, and there will be no torturing tonight, unless you have someone bothering you that you'd like handled. Okay, never mind, but let me know if you ever do, won't you, dear? Hmm. Now, close your eyes. Feel yourself connecting to me. Remember, you'll see the imagery I project at you with my mind. Good, good. There's a vast expanse before you. 
A sky filled with stars that pulse in time with your heartbeat. Each pulse is a quiet reminder of your existence. Steady, calm, alive. The air is cool like the softest breath on your skin. There is peace here. Walk forwards. A path appears. It's narrow and winding, carved from black stone that glimmers. And ahead of you, there is an archway draped in tendrils of strange glowing vines. Welcome, dear, to Adna's Eldritch Garden. As you step through the archway, the ground becomes soft. It's like walking on a bed of moss that glows faintly. The ground yields to your every step. The air is filled with the scent of something sweet, unfamiliar, tantalizing. It's a fusion of night blooming flowers that smell of fragrance and distant storms. Inhale. Let it fill your lungs. As you continue along the path, towering plants with translucent ghostly leaves sway. Their stems twist upward into the tree. As you pass, you feel the cool, smooth leaves against your skin. And on your right is a large pool of liquid. It glows softly, a pale blue with flecks of silver gliding across its surface. Bend down and dip your fingers into it. The liquid is warm but light and coat your hand like a soft glove. Give it a taste. Yes, strange but sweet. Continue walking deeper into the garden. Notice the dark petals of the flowers, folding and unfolding as they scent your presence. They are very much alive. Before you, the path opens into a clearing, and in the middle of the clearing, is a soft patch of velvety grass. You lie down here and look up into the sky, which is now swirling softly with faint silver and blue colors. Breathe in the air of the garden and feel my mind intertwined with yours. We'll stay here together in this intimacy until you wish to leave.